So today, let's talk about six reasons women flirt when they don't want sex from you. Now, flirting can often be misunderstood or interpreted in different ways. And the reasons behind a woman's behavior can be complex and varied. When it comes to women flirting with men without the intention of pursuing a sexual relationship, several factors may be at play. And that's the reason why I thought it was important to create today's video. It's important to approach the subject with the understanding that everyone's motions and boundaries are personal and deserving of respect. So in today's video, I'm going to go into a couple of reasons. Let's go. My name is Jessica OS and this is my channel. The number one reason is affirmation of attractiveness and desirability. Now, in a world where being attractive is often seen as important, getting this kind of feedback through flirting can actually be really, really meaningful for women. It shows them that they're valued socially, that others like paying attention to them, and stuff like that. Flirting lets people show off their personality and feel powerful. It's a chance to be witty, funny, charming in a way that feels good. When women flirt and get a good response, it reminds them that they can control how others see them. This feeling of control can stick around and make them more confident in future social situations. Not every woman gets the same confidence boost from flirting though, so you need to keep that in mind. I mean, it depends on what's important to them and what they've been through in the past. Also, how flirting makes them feel depends on how it happens. If it's respectful and everyone's okay with it, chances are they're gonna enjoy the experience. When someone flirts and gets a positive response, even if it's just playful and not leading into anything serious, it can boost their confidence. And I guess that's what I'm really trying to say. Getting positive feedback from others, especially about being attractive, can make people feel like they belong. Now, the second reason is misinterpretation of signals. Now, flirting can be tricky because it's not always clear what a woman means. Sometimes women flirt on, you know, uh, on purpose to show that she's interested, but not too directly. This way she can see if the other person is interested without risking rejection. But this can also cause confusion because the person receiving the signals might not understand them in the same way. Different people see flirting differently. What one person sees as flirting, another might think is just being friendly. And this can happen because obviously cultural differences, personal experiences, boundaries, and, and stuff like that. These differences can make it hard for people from different backgrounds to understand each other. And people have different comfort levels when it comes to flirting. Some people like being close and playful while others prefer more space. I mean, it depends on their experiences and personality. Now, differences in communication styles can also contribute to the misinterpretation of signals. Some people are more expressive and outgoing. Using physical touch and playful teasing as part of their normal interaction with friends and acquaintances, not necessarily as an indication of romantic interest. You know, there are people like that. Conversely, there are also people who are more reserved and they interpret any deviation from neutral behavior as a sign of flirting. Now, the context in which interaction occurs can significantly influence how behaviors are intercepted or understood, right? You always need to take note or be mindful of the context in which you find yourself. Number three is lack of sexual attraction. Now, when a woman flirts with you, it doesn't necessarily mean she's sexually attracted to you. Attraction is more than just wanting to have sex with someone. It's about liking someone's personality, sense of humor, or looks, right? Without wanting anything sexual. Flirting can come from different kinds of attraction, like enjoying someone's company or finding them interesting. Now, people might also flirt just to have fun and connect with others without wanting it to go further. Flirting makes social interactions more lively, enjoyable, even if it's no, or if, if there's no plan that for it to lead to sex, right? Human relationships are complicated and don't always fit into categories like romantic or platonic. Sometimes people flirt without making or wanting anything sexual. Everyone has their own boundaries and reasons for flirting. And that's why it's important to respect these boundaries and understand what others are comfortable with. Sometimes people misunderstand flirtatious behavior as a sign of sexual interest, even when it's not meant that way. And this is why clear communication is important. Understand the context of a situation, like I said earlier, to help avoid any confusion when it comes to women's behavior and flirting for that matter. Number four is not ready. She's not ready, right? She might not be ready for sex yet and is just enjoying the moment. It's possible she enjoys flirting as a form of playful interaction without necessarily wanting to take things to the sexual level. I mean, a lot of women may consider their own readiness for sex, both physically and emotionally. They want to feel ready to handle the potential consequences and responsibilities that come with sexual activity. She might be enjoying the connection and the excitement without 
feeling ready necessarily for the physical aspect of intimacy. It could be a sign that she values building a deeper emotional connection first before exploring the physical side of the relationship. Now, many women value emotional intimacy and may want to feel a strong connection with their partner before becoming physically intimate. And if you understand this, you won't get so mad. Building trust, understanding, and a sense of closeness is important, and it helps her feel comfortable and ready for sex in the future. Also, feeling respected and valued by their partner is crucial for many women. They want to know that their boundaries will be honored and that they can trust their partner to prioritize them, their well-being, and consent. Feeling safe and secure with their partner is essential for many women before engaging in sex. This includes feeling physically safe, um, as well as emotionally secure in the relationship. Some women may consider maybe even contraceptive methods and protection against STIs, because we all know these exist, and they will think about those things before having sex with you, just making sure that both of you are on the same page regarding contraception, right? Prevention, after all, is better than cure, okay? They want to have a responsible sexual experience. Um, relationship dynamics also can influence a woman's decision to have sex. Some women may prefer to wait until then a committed relationship, while others feel comfortable with casual or non-exclusive sexual encounters. So it really just depends on the kind of woman that you're dealing with. Now the fifth thing is playing hard to get. That could be one of the reasons. She might be playing hard to get, and it often involves behaviors such as being less available, um, not immediately reciprocating romantic gestures, or showing restraint in expressing interest. And women do this for a lot of reasons, one of them being testing interest. You know, by not readily reciprocating your advances, she can gauge the sincerity level, you know, of her potential partners. And if she feels you're sincere enough, she may give in eventually. Maintaining independence. Some women value their independence and want to ensure that any potential relationship respects her autonomy, right? Playing hard to get may be a way to assert that control over the pace and development of that relationship. Number three, she may be playing hard to get because she's filtering suitors. In a dating scene where not everybody may have sincere intentions, playing hard to get can serve as a filter to weed out those who are not genuinely interested or compatible, who are just there for sex. It allows her to identify partners who are willing to invest time, effort, into you know, pursuing something really, really meaningful. And of course, the chase and anticipation created by playing hard to get can add excitement of some sort and mystery to a budding romance, and it can make the pursuit more thrilling and the eventual connection more rewarding. And guys, you can attest to that. Of course, some women also have experienced hurt in the past, disappointment in the past, and use playing hard to get as a defense mechanism to guard against potential rejection or heartache. You know, so by maintaining that degree of emotional distance, they may feel more in control and less vulnerable to you. Now, the sixth reason might be the timing is simply not right. Some women prioritize emotional intimacy over physical intimacy. For them, flirting may be a way to gauge compatibility and build trust before engaging in something more physical. I mean, everyone has different comfort levels when it comes to physical intimacy, and she may have boundaries or beliefs that dictate that she wants to wait before having sex, even if she enjoys flirting. By flirting, but not engaging in sex, she's actually showing respect for herself and for you. She could be ensuring that any physical interaction is consensual and meaningful, rather than purely driven by physical attraction. Previous relationships or personal experiences could also influence her behavior. She may have been hurt before, wants to take things slower this time to ensure that she's doing the right thing. Let's move on to number seven. Now, maybe it's not even that deep. Flirting is simply fun for her. You know, it can be fun. It doesn't necessarily need to lead to anything. And flirting in this context is simply about her enjoying talking to you, feeling excited about connecting, sharing laughs. It's like a fun game, right? Where she shows different sides of herself, tries new things, and how she talks, acts, just enjoys being with you. Her goal here isn't to start a romantic thing or anything serious. It's about happiness, fun, good feelings, you know, when she's with you. This way of flirting also celebrates being able to be herself and share her unique personality and humor. It's about the freedom to have these light-hearted interactions because they make her feel good and make social situations more enjoyable without any pressure to meet like certain goals, right? And the final one I can share with you guys is if she is currently in an unhappy relationship, right? I mean, 
she might be unhappy in her relationship and looking for attention. When a lady or a woman is unhappy, um, they may feel a lack of emotional connection, appreciation, or validation from their current partner. And so for them, flirting with other guys can provide a temporary boost to her self-esteem and a sense of desirability. She would finally think, hey, there's nothing wrong with me. Now, it's not necessarily about seeking sex, but just that validation, the emotional fulfillment that they feel is lacking in their current relationship that they come to you for. So one of the things you really wanna pay attention to, especially when a woman is just randomly flirting with you, is is she using you as a source of validation? Is she in another relationship or is she actually for real? I mean, that might be one of the reasons why she's not jumping into sex or jumping into bed with you right away. Um, for her, it's more, hey, my, I'm going through challenges with my other guy. Am I still attractive? Do, can I still win men out there? But she's not about to have sex with you. She's just pretty much validating her feelings. Well, I hope that these um, reasons, you know, sit well with you. I hope that it's also giving you some insight. If you like the video, you know what to do. I, I don't ask you to send me money. I just ask you to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll catch you in the next video. The name is Jessica. Cheers.